Hey guys, me Paige Paris, over to everyone to call me and welcome back to another YouTube video and happy holiday season everybody. Christmas is rolling around this time of year and honestly, everyone has been going through at it. There's finals this month, there's so much going on and I feel like December is like the quickest month ever. So every single year for Christmas, I seem to be doing videos, giving back to the community and giving back to my friends. And this year it's been a little hectic since half of my friends are on virtual school. So I want to give back to my friends and also some of my classmates that have been very kind to me this time of year and I've seen them struggling a little bit with academics, mental health, family issues, the pandemic, just everything's just so crazy right now. So I wanted to bake cookies for them. I know it's really hard to give out homemade things now to everybody because of, you know, like touching things. You don't know if you're gonna cough, sneeze in it. So um, I'm going to doing pre-made cookie mix and decorating them, you know, all cute and stuff, but we do not have the supplies. So... Now we can bake some frickin' cookies! For the sugar cookie mix for Pillsbury, it requires one stick of butter and one egg, which is pretty, pretty, very easy. And in my experience, I'm pretty bad at making cookies, like, from sugar cookie mixes. It just doesn't work out like that, and it, this video might be an entire mess in itself. Oh no. So for what I'm doing for the holiday season, this holiday season's a little weird because of the pandemic. We didn't celebrate Thanksgiving, which my family didn't really celebrate Thanksgiving anyway because um, we're Filipino. We don't really celebrate Thanksgiving. It wasn't really a thing, but my family and I, we didn't really celebrate Thanksgiving anyway, so it was kind of okay. And Christmas is a really big deal to my culture. We start decorating on September 1st, and in the Philippines, I've seen decorations early as like summer because we don't really celebrate um, Halloween because we celebrate All Saints Day. You know, it's just Christmas all year round. Usually on the 25th, I usually go to my cousin's house and we open gifts. This is like a nightly thing, and a couple years ago, we did a pajama party thing. It was so much fun. I did an entire vlog on it. It's on my channel. It's a really weak vlog though, but it was so much fun to dress up in pajamas, do all these Christmas games. It was like the first time when everyone in my family was really together on my mom's side. And I went to Chicago, where the rest of my family is. It was so much fun to see my family. I've never spent time with them on the holiday season. It was just so fun and authentic. It was just the vibes were immaculate. <laughs> so, um, that is that. This year, we are just going to my aunt's house on the 24th. And the 25th, um, we were planning to go to Universal. So I don't know if I'm going to vlog. I don't even know if it's 100% sure we're going to Universal. Because, um of capacity and stuff but you know like i'm trying my best to keep this year the best i can i know this year kind of sucked for everybody but you know i hope the christmas like season kind of makes up for it the butter is not working out i don't know if i can show you guys like here it's just <laughs> i found this so amazing so for disney they did a holiday promotion this year and it was based on philippine tradition and i I I just, I don't know, I'm speechless. There's so much culture to be said about Philippines during the Christmas time. And it was just so emotional to see that there was actually a commercial and people are like being coming more aware of like, are my culture? It's just so amazing. And Philippine culture during Christmas time is beautiful and I think everyone should get to see that. I think I should look up some like Christmas related questions. Oh, let's talk about my favorite Christmas memory. Like Christmas goes really so fast, but I think my favorite memory was when I was younger. Actually, I'll talk about two memories, one on my dad's side and one on my mom's side. For a, a Christmas story on my mom's side, we used to sing all the time. They always made all the kids sing, like I sing. I think you guys already know that. I mean, we get money in return. And I remember, getting so much money saving up in my little like teddy bear and i always saved up all the money and bought gifts for my friends and still till this day i still spend all of my money solely on my friends i never really buy things for myself that's kind of bad i do buy some clothes for myself and like 
this and that but like I solely like 80% of my spendings go towards my friends. Friends do come and go but like you have to treasure who your friends are at the moment because you don't know what's gonna happen next. Things change. I'm a senior in high school and things are literally changing at the blink of an eye like it's really crazy. Am I the only one that can hear that sound? My favorite memory on my dad's side. So I've only spent Christmas with my dad's side, well, in Chicago, like once. And I think my favorite part has to be spending time with my cousins 100% and doing all those fun games with them. Like, I've never... My dad's side of my family is the most thrilling, like, extroverted family I've ever, like, really met. And it was just so nice to see us all together. And it was, it was such a good time. And, like, we went through, like family heartache right after and like it's it's okay guys like life moves on and like you just you things will happen in the way and i know christmas isn't the greatest for everybody but it's all about being thankful and it's the same thing thanksgiving should be every single day and christmas like is a holiday that's celebrated by all and a lot of people don't get to celebrate it the way they want to spend it so i hope that many people this year are blessed to be safe this year i know it's a pandemic so it's really extra harder during this season and many people can't see their grandparents their parents because of their because they're sick or high risk like it's it's really crazy guys and i hope you guys have an amazing holiday season and um i just hope that um this year does impact us all like teaches us and we're, we're literally living in history right now like it's crazy we're literally living in a time that's going to be in a history book and it's it's crazy and i can't believe i've been making videos during this holiday season and i'm trying my best to make as much videos for you guys during this time so we're gonna move to the kitchen now so i can put this on the board and put some flour on it because i'm in the dining room and i don't want to get this dining room table messy again so we switched angles a bit and oh my gosh this gives me tasty buzzfeed food vibes but um we're going to put out the dough and cut them into shapes i've never made cutout cookies before like actual successful ones but um we'll hope this works out okay put some more flour when i think of the holiday season i think of hot chocolate ice skating like all of those cute little things that happen during the winter time i really hope this works out like I really want to make these cookies for my friends. Like, I'm being really sincere, guys. Like, I really, really want this video to work out. So we're going to do it like this. We have different cookie cutters. So we have this gingerbread one, the snowman one, and the Santa one, which I don't think I'm going to use. I'm not going to lie with you because that seems a lot. Okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh. It's... <gasps> we're going to have to re-roll this. This isn't... <laughs> have the snowman one and the santa one and these two circle ones which i'm probably going to make into ornaments anyway i'm going to answer these questions and i have a bunch of frosting like i said this video should be sponsored by pillsbury i swear i have the vibrant green vanilla the radiant red vanilla and the regular vanilla frosting and we have some holiday sprinkles some holly berry ones some candy cane ones at the open and some gold sprinkles. What is my favorite Christmas movie? That's so hard. It's not really a Christmas movie per se. It's more of a Christmas TV special, but I love the Charlie Brown Christmas special. I think it's so cute and it, it just really reminds me of the holiday time. But um, also, I love the, the Disney Christmas movies as well. The Christmas Carol is kind of a, not gonna lie, it's sort of a haunting movie when you look at it as a child because, I don't know, Christmas Carol, like the movie, it's just, 
it, it should be a PG-13 movie, I swear. Or, like, just fam like have a lot of, like, I don't know, keep the lights on. Because that movie is so dark and it's so scary. I, w I was watching it with my friend the other day. And we were like, wait, why is this for kids? This is so, like, haunting. What? I need to get on the train of watching more traditional holiday movies. Like, I love the movie Elf, but I haven't watched any other traditional movies. What is your favorite Christmas song? There's a lot of good Christmas songs, but lately it has been the song snowman by sia and her christmas album and this song she released like three years ago called snowman on her album is so good it's actually a trend on tiktok right now to sing it and that song is so good like can you name all of santa's reindeer you know dasher and prancer and nixon and dixon comet and cupid jasper and whitson I, I don't even think I got those names right. What's your all-time favorite holiday treat, food, or sweet? In my family, we eat a lot of Filipino food because I am Filipino. And my favorite food we do eat during the holiday season are these. It's called lumpia, or many people call them egg rolls. Lumpia is it's like a small little egg roll that's filled with pork. They're so good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's so for treat, um, it has to be my aunt's cream puffs that she makes. They are so delicious, so nice and delicate delicate and it's a very it's a secret recipe kind of what is the best christmas present you have ever received i would have to say this video camera that i'm using right now so a while back i had the same exact camera but what happened is i was vlogging doing a christmas present shopping vlog and i kept the camera in my bag and i had a drink in my bag and it opened in my entire camera lost all its footage it got the sd card wet and everything it was really devastating and i had to i literally thought i was going to quit youtube after that not gonna lie this camera is so good way better like i really i really missed vlogging on camera so i'm really happy have you ever gone christmas caroling so i'm in choir i think many people know that i've been christmas caroling like once not like going the houses but i've christmas caroled at like nursing homes and it was so much fun and i'm doing that again this year but like we're not going to the actual nursing homes we're just recording videos of ourselves but that's that's still fun you know like christmas season you know everybody and you know people in nursing homes are going through a lot especially because of covid do you like to stay in your pajamas or dress up for christmas in my family we wake up in our pajamas and open our christmas present but in general we um dress up for Christmas. I'm so into this cookie decorating. Anyway, let's cut to me giving these cookies to my friends. Oh, I'm so sorry, it's broken. Still a cookie. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, the bags are so cute. They're little nutcrackers. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> cute. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, is this for me? Thank you. Yeah. So I hope you guys like this video. I know this video was so weird and out of the ordinary, but you know, I just love making treats and giving them to my friends, giving back to everyone. And I know this holiday season is very hard for everyone. I hope you guys stay safe during this holiday season. I love you all. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I love you guys so much and bye!